going on guys and welcome to my new channel. I'm Jay Glair and today we're unboxing the Flash Forge Adventurer 3 3D printer. This is my first 3D printer that I've purchased. I purchased it on Amazon and I'll be designing and printing custom figures and accessories. So if there's anything that you'd like printed up, leave me a comment down below with what you'd like and I'll post a video of the process and even send you the figure for a low price. But enough about that. Let's get started unboxing this Flash Forge Adventurer 3. Flashforge sends you the 3D printer with pretty much everything that you need to get started printing and with as little production stopping issues as possible. Everything is neatly packaged and secured in cardboard compartments, plastic, and tape. They hook you up with some essential repair tools consisting of an unclogging pen tool, allen wrench, a baby screwdriver, and some grease just in case the moving parts start sticking or squeaking. They of course give you a quick start guide to assist you with getting the printer set up and an after sales service card giving you a 12 month limited warranty on the printer and a three month limited warranty on the extruder. Of course, you get the power cord and a free spool of random filament. In my case, I got the red PLA filament. I would rather have the black or the white, but I ain't complaining, it's free, right? Well, not really. And now the star of the show. Let's get this out of the way. Flashforge makes sure to properly protect your investment, as they should, with bubble wrap. Now, I'm not sure how secure the bubble wrap is around the printer, and I'm not going to waste your time watching me struggle to carefully remove the printer from the box without hitting my camera, so... I'm going to cut to after I remove the printer. Okay, so there's a bit of tape and plastic wrapping around the printer, but be careful when removing this, especially around the door to the enclosure. They really have the tape on there. After removing the wrapping and some really strong tape, from the door and around the printer, there's a cardboard insert inside the enclosure. Hey guys, uh, Future J here. Um, so yeah, don't do what I'm doing here. You're actually supposed to leave the cardboard insert in the printer until you power up the printer and navigate through the settings to move the extruder out of the way using the touchscreen interface. If someone would have actually read the manual, or manual, he would have seen this. All right, now roll that beautiful 3D printer footage. The Adventure 3 has a build size of 150 millimeters on the X, Y, and Z axes, and has a removable heated build plate for easy removal of your finished models. You can print your models using your Wi-Fi connection or a USB flash drive, and the enclosed printer area is perfect for printing with filaments such as PLA, and ABS. The Adventurer 3 uses a single extruder for your prints and it also has a 2.8 inch touchscreen interface. Pretty small but functional. And the printer features a removable nozzle for when you're switching between different types of filaments and a built-in camera so you can access an inside view of your printing projects at any time, which I feel comes in handy, especially if you're like me and want to create videos of your projects. You can purchase the Flash Forge Adventurer 3 on flashforgeshop.com for roughly $440 to $488 plus taxes and shipping, depending upon if you want to purchase extra items as a bundle with your 3D printer, like extra PLA filaments and or an extra removable nozzle and heated build plate. Be sure to check out the FlashForge website and take a look at all of the products that FlashForge has to offer. You're pretty much guaranteed to find whatever you need for your 3D modeling projects there. 
You can also find The Adventurer 3 on Amazon.com for around the same price. Both sites provide excellent details as to what you're getting and provides you with many options for additions to your investment. And there you have it, the Flash Forge Adventurer 3 3D printer. I'm excited to get started on some projects, but let me know what you guys think. Are you looking to buy a 3D printer or just looking for something to be printed for you? Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see printed. I'm going to start off with something simple first, just to test the printer out. Then work on more advanced prints like anime characters, starting with my favorite anime character of all time, the Prince of All Saiyans, Vegeta. Then uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead to monsters and Pokemon, etc. But click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more 3D printing projects. I also do TV series and movie reviews on this channel starting with Godzilla vs. Kong, so be sure to check those videos out. Alright, enough of that, now back to the video. And stay tuned for my review video of The Adventurer 3, where I'll let you know if this is a good investment for you and how it's worked out for me. If you're into gaming, be sure to check out my gaming channel, Jglair Gaming. Thank you guys so much for watching, be sure to share this video with anyone that you know of that is looking to purchase a 3D printer. I'll leave a link down in the description down below to where you can purchase the Adventurer 3. Thank you guys so much again. Be sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, be safe, stay positive, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.